The first 7 days of January are behind us with Aria of a Starless Night releasing in more countries while well, some are delayed due to more regional lockdowns. Floor 2 progressive round of a fragile blade getting adapted in Unleash Blading, multiple Sword Online staff sharing their art books and plenty more. Welcome to the first edition of This Week in SAO where I cover all the news of the week for your pleasure which was 100% inspired by Linus's tech news on TechLinked. The new year began with the release of animation artworks books of Suzuki Go and Yamamoto Yumiko, two huge SAO names that the staff enthusiasts among you will surely recognize. Both of the art books are dedicated to their incredible work in the Alsatian anime run featuring full colored illustrations as well as very detailed storyboards and more. If you're interested in these amazing show cases of godly talent, the Toranoana links are in the description although you may need some Japanese knowledge to go through all the purchase processes and I don't even know whether they ship globally. Unleash Blading caught us by surprise with a rondo of a fragile blade adaptation and let me tell you it's an incredibly well done adaptation so far even covering extensive inner monologues of Kirito during the weapon enhancement scam. The first portion they covered is advertised as part 1, so they will either cover the entire weapon enhancement scam from Kirito's point of view only, or they may cover the entire Rondo story instead up until and including the boss fight too, which is a bit troubling for a potential future Rondo of a Fragile Blade movie since the golden rule so far has been that no games are allowed to adapt content directly if the anime has plans to cover it in the future. You'll see this in all SAO games that had to take incredibly loose adaptation routes if they were covering something before the anime, like the progressive stuff sprinkled in Halo Realization, or simply adapting things after the anime does like Phantom Bullet in Fatal Bullet, or the Human Realm arc of Alization in Alization Liquoris. Moon Cradle being adapted in depth in Unleashed Blading was a huge sign that we most certainly were not gonna get a Moon Cradle anime, so a very straightforward story like Rondo getting such an in-depth adaptation has been a bit of a downer. Granted, it's not getting the investment Moon Cradle does from the game with anime scenes and stuff, but I doubt anything else will be getting that considering how it did not really help the game recover at all despite the aggressive marketing attempts. Unleashed Blading is also having New Year's campaigns. Alice and Edith are the current New Year's scouts, a new home pack as well as more JPEGs for sale that you cannot even use anywhere outside of the game. Give me my JPEG please and let me use however I want to, otherwise I'll just grab them from the data miners and use them myself. Other campaigns, some of which are now over, are 110 scout campaigns, daily scouts for weekdays increased to 5 scouts and for weekends to 22 scouts from 11 until the end of January. A 7 day login campaign is there, a daily opening bonus quest campaign with 25 diamond rewards in each node for up to 175 cubes, surprisingly generous, a desperately needed one to be frank with the new season pass being around and creating that diamond bottleneck. Oh, and a guaranteed scout pack up for purchase, it features limited units for grabs, so if you're a whale who missed out on them or just need imaginariums, this is one of those rare chances. If you are a free to play, don't worry, the, ga the game is a weekly power creep gacha anyways, although I, I have that Unite Luring Alice and, and she's a beast. Well, she was a beast last time I used her. Moving on to Integral Factor, a new guild ranking event has begun against the Terror Gaze, so if you have an active guild, time to start organizing again. You can collect entry tickets now and the actual ranking portion will begin next week. Grand Order Scout is live, giving you an 8% pull rate for 4 star skills, starting at a discounted rate. For an exact list of units, check the in-game notice. An XP event is also currently being held in Integral Factor, started on the 1st of January and just had new stuff added into it, so if you need leveling, exclusive items or this handsome Agile skill, you have until January 26th with a higher tier dungeon opening this Saturday the 8th. Aria of a Starless Night Japanese cinema bonuses for the 10th week was a special illustration featuring Asuna and Mito. Sadly, aside from one or two regions outside of Japan, nobody even got a taste of these lovely bonuses and this appears to be the last one, with no bonus for an 11th week has been announced so far. Um, I'm not even sure if it's gonna be in the cinemas for an 11th week, that's that's over two and a half months. Speaking of the movie, Turkey had its official release this week, yours and truly naturally went for a second watch with some friends about three weeks after the press screening I was invited to. It was an even better experience with the couple subtitle fixes we recommended and no longer having to take notes while watching the movie. 
I was gonna share my spoiler review today, but computer broke down early this week, so I basically could not do anything at all. Hopefully, I can make use of these notes for next week. In other regions, France, Luxembourg and Indonesia got their own ARIA releases during the week, so congrats to you guys. Sadly, the Netherlands was not as lucky as the country is in the process of taking a dump with their COVID situation and finding themselves in a continued lockdown. So, fellow Dutch friends, stay tuned for your lockdown to be over and stay safe. Sweden is on course to getting their release today as far as I know and I'm saying that on the assumption that I'll release this video on January the 7th, we'll see how that goes. And those looking forward to a release next week on January 14th is another Nordic country, Norway. Enjoy your screening and be happy that both of you and Sweden have beaten Denmark to it, so cherish the pleasure. In the illustration corner, we have Ari of a Starless Night movie director Ayako Kono sharing a special storyboard for the New Year's where Asuna, Kirito and Mito are wishing a happy new year while Kirito is also commenting on his sword being the perfect length as the dork he is. Girls Ops mangaka Neko Bio Neko has shared a special illustration featuring Mito and I have to say Neko's art is always incredibly cute and this one is no exception. Moving on to an unexpected illustration, Tokita Koichi, the illustrator of Plenty of Gundam the manga has shared an airline illustration for us to enjoy, so go comment on how great it looks. A new pair of Kirtan Asuna sneakers based on progressive Ari of a Starless Night key visual have been revealed by Don Quijote, coming with a bonus holographic card as well, available for limited pre-sale on their Rakuten store from January 6th, available for normal sale on January 8th. And last but not least, in our weekly translation corner, SAO Comic Anthology Volume 1 Story 4 has been translated featuring a family story taking place between Kirito and Leafa, we hope you enjoy. That's been the first ever This Week in SAO. Granted, it is a light week in terms of news, I imagine most of the weeks will be, but it's the best way to stay up to date with all your SAO needs. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more and I'll see you next week. Until then, stay cool.